Well folks, I ended up buying another tractor today. As you can see, it's a wheel horse. And right now this makes number 20 in the collection for garden tractors, not including all of my Gravelys that I have kicking around here also. So it's a 1969 Charger 12. It's a hydrostatic drive, manual lift, Kohler K301 12 horse. It has the old trigger style ignition. And this was the changeover point from when they went to starter generators to the regular starters. And it's in pretty fair shape. I got this from a local guy around here I've been dealing with, with some antique tractor stuff, and he seems to find some pretty good deals, and he definitely did with this one. So big thanks goes out to him. I ended up getting this for 125 bucks. so obviously enough, you definitely can't beat that. And I've been also been looking for another wheel horse lately. been kind of getting back into them again for some reason or another. So aside from sitting around and just having surface rust, it's not too bad. The butterflies and stuff in the carburetor are a little bit stuck. I think the choke one does move, so that's going to all have to get gone through and whatnot. Engine spins over, has a little bit of compression. Battery's no good, obviously enough. Has to come out. Gas tank, I think, is original from what I know of. I do have the larger style one that does come out to here, but I think this would be the original one for what goes in it. Wiring needs to be redone, obviously enough. That's all been kind of hacked through and whatnot. It does have the original seat, although it's cracked. You can see it has the original wheel horse embossed logo on it, which is pretty neat. Dash still has the cigarette lighter in it. And I don't know if the key switch or anything works. The throttle cable is stuck, and I do have another one kicking around here somewhere that I'll have to put onto it. Manual lift does move. So far the tires have been holding air for the past couple hours since I filled them up. No hitch on the back of it, and you can't see it now, but there was markings where there was axle latches on here at one point, along with a tachymatic of some sort on the front right here, and the belt for the snowblower was actually all wound up in this stuff, and you can see it also has the arm for the crank. So it was did have a snowblower on at one point in its life. Hydrostatic levers all move. Everything needs to be oiled up. Has a toolbox underneath. Transmission does have fluid in it, and it's not too bad. It's a little dark, but still a little bit red also, which is always good. Needs tie rods in the front because they're broken, and this one's actually missing on this side, which I do have tie rod ends if I have to make them, and I might actually have some extra wheel horse tie rods up on the hill up in the shed also. Was well, in pretty fair shape, nice and straight. And the engine oil is also good. I pulled the plug on that and checked that. And it's kind of got this cool shade of green on it from all the mildew from it sitting out under the trees and whatnot. So I'm sort of debating whether I want to power wash this or just leave it the way it is. Although I know if I leave it out in the sun, the mildew is probably going to end up going away. But either way, it is kind of neat. So the plans for this right now are just to do a complete mechanical revamp on it. I love to do a restoration, but that's not going to happen for sure anytime soon. So I'm just going to give it a really good once over. And I have an extra 42 inch plow and axle latches that I have. And I'm going to end up putting that on here just for the heck of it, really. Uh, for nothing in particular, and then I can bring this to some of the shows this year, which I'm definitely looking forward to. So after this video, I figured I'd give you guys an overview, and make sure you all look for the repair series, or at least a repair video, depending on how much time I have to do the camera work and whatnot. So anyways, folks, there you have it. That's the 1969 Wheel Horse Charger 12.